everybody, I am here to show you my stamping video for January. And I I have to tell you that it's a little crazy. These are hard to see because I only have the samples right now to show you. I went a little crazy. Once in a while we do an extra four by six stamp set and we include that as a separate purchase. There was so much amazing artwork in this January collection that I made three extras four by six stamp sets for you to purchase a la carte. So, and on top of that, there is a stamp set in the planner add-on. So there's a total of six stamp sets for January. So it's going to take me a while to get through all of the, and I don't even think I can do all of the ideas using all of these stamps, but I'll try and hit on some major points of them and go through them with you. And we're going to have a lot of fun with these because they're amazing and fun and whimsical. And I can't wait to show you this. As I mentioned in, in the intro, we have a lot of stamp sets this month. And part of the reason being is there was so much beautiful artwork. I, I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't, I literally couldn't cut out enough. So we ended up making, uh, we have our normal stamp sets for the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. Uh, we put one in the planner add-on, and then we made three extra stamp sets larger, the four by six stamp sets, um, as just individual or extra uh, sale. So in those, if you remember back in September with our Doodles and Dashes kit, we did a uh, kind of a floral or leaf um, design stamp set. And that sold out really quickly. We will be getting that back in stock uh, shortly. It takes a little little while to get our stamps done. Um, so if you're not on the wait list for that one, make sure you sign up for it. But this time around, I ended up doing two stamp sets. And let me just kind of show you. I do, I only have the samples right now, so I apologize. They're probably a little hard to see just because they don't have the printed sticker on the front. These are just my samples. But I'm gonna show you real quickly the stamp sets. So this one has more of the, the floral pieces and um, a few of the, the little vines and um, um, the little dandelions and Queen Anne's lace on there. So that is that set. I have to name them yet, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then this has more of the little leaf patterns or the little sprigs. So that is that set. And again, I couldn't choose. I, I didn't, I wanted all of them. So um, we ended up making three stamp sets. And then of course the adorable birds and snails, we had to have a set with them as well. So we have that as a stamp set. So those are the three stamp sets that are gonna be for individual sale. None of these are in any of the kits. You will have to purchase these separately and we will have those listed. And again, um, you know, we order what we think will sell. Um, if it sells out, I apologize. For those of you that miss out, we will try to reorder if it does sell out, but please understand that we try to gauge um, the order based on past orders and what we think um, will sell. We can't just leave stock sitting in inventory. So we have to try and use our magic crystal ball and forecast um, um, a reasonable amount between what will sell and what will sell out. So we have those three stamp sets that are for individual sale. This stamp set is in the, um, the modern memory keeping kit and it has some of these fun sayings. These are kind of hard to see. I'll show you these on the examples. These are great little headers, um, little journaling prompts. And then this one with the paper airplanes and this great grid stamp. I love this so much. I will talk about this a little bit more. And this is part of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then this one um, is part of the planner add-on and it has some of the fun little characters in there as well as some layering stamps to create your own little washi tape. So I'll show you that as well. 
So we're going to dig in here. One thing I wanted to mention is, um, I don't know, it got to be about 1030 last night and I finally had to stop because there, with all of these stamp sets, there are so many combinations. There are so many things you can do with layering of all of these florals that what I ended up doing is I just, I kind of stamped them all and I'll talk about some of the ideas because I could just keep going and going and going and going. And I finally, I was like, okay, I have to stop because it's getting late and I need to actually make the video tomorrow. And um, so, yeah, so there's a, a ton of ideas, but I'm going to talk more about the different ideas rather than having stamped all of them out, um, especially with those florals. So we'll talk about those in a little bit. Uh, the colors that I used, obviously I used my favorite VersaFine black ink. I used this for most of them. I just wanted to kind of give you a good clear outline of uh, the florals and the little birds. So I used my VersaFine. And we should still have some of this in the store, I believe. And we did restock, or we will have back in stock here in a couple days, the compact scrubber and some more of the stamp cleaner. So be watching for that. That I just saw a shipping notice that that's coming, so we should have that soon. And then as far as colors go, um, these are all from the stamp market. I used the citrine, the salmon, the leafy, which is a pretty green, the cheeky, which is a nice lighter pink, and then the sea glass for the pretty blue. And then I have a really fun technique here I'm gonna show you at the end using some, just some chalk. So if you have just a dig through your stash, a lot of us have these. If we've been crafters for a while, I'm gonna show you how to pull this out and use this in a fun way with the florals. So we are gonna start with the stamp set from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. Now, um, just as a reminder, the Modern Memory Keeping Kit stamp and the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping stamp are both in the stamp subscription. So if you don't get either of the Memory Keeping Kits but you love to stamp, you can subscribe to the stamp subscription and you get both of those stamp sets. So this stamp set has a fun little chevron type of arrow, which is fun for layering. It has a little countdown um, circle stamp. It has this January like Monday, but longer saying. And then it's got the, the best way to get things done is simply to begin. And then that that's enough today and for today. And then the true um, little arrow and then the day in the life. So you get a lot of stamps in this stamp set. Let me show you a couple ways to use them. So I added the true next to, you could do it next to either of the sayings. Next to this one, the best way to get things done is simply to begin. And then I added the, um, the numbering stamp set, which would be fun if you wanted to use that kind of as a, a header and then a journaling prompt. And then you could um, write down four things that you want to begin, maybe New Year's resolutions, um, that type of thing. You can use that number stamp just um, alone in your journaling. It would be pretty to mix it in and then hand write those out. And then the Day in the Life circle stamp, I added that with the little chevron arrow or with the number stamp. And what I did is I turned it upside down and I just thought that was kind of a fun little effect. The January like Monday, but longer, you could layer on top of the chevron or um, above it. And the same thing with either of the sayings, you could layer it on top of or above it as well. And then this little, these two little stamp sets, I love these. Now these, I have to tell you, um, the Yummy in the Photo, these were originally designs that Eve from Evalicious um, did, and she gave us permission to redo them. Uh, she does all of our stickers and sometimes some of our other products, and she's just an amazing designer. We absolutely love her, and so she gave us permission. I just loved these. They're um, an older stamp set, and I asked her if we could um, kind of update them and use that design, and she gave us permission to do that. So we have the little yummy. So you have the little silverware with the yummy, and then you could write a header. You could write a header. You could write journaling in here. You could put a title in here. A lot of fun ways that you can use that. And the same with the photo. So you could put a date there, a title, or a little caption for your photo. 
I just think these are just adorable little stamp sets that could be used in so many ways as far as layering with your journaling or with a photo. And then again, I just show how you can layer that uh, little chevron with that. Then the next stamp set is this grid. And I have to tell you that there was a similar grid that um, I saw that Heidi Swap had done and I have loved it forever. It is such a neat way to layer. It's been sold out forever. So we we took the idea, I wanna give her credit because it was it's something similar as what she did originally. Um, and so we kind of, we switched it up a little bit. We changed some of the lines so that we're not copying her, but I loved the, the concept and um, uh, since it's sold out, we can't get it. I, I wanted one, so we're making one. And so we did kind of some double lines on there. And what's fun about this is you can use this to layer over things. You can use it. Um, we did a, a dated. There's I never changed. I learned. There's this moment captured. And then we have a, a couple of cute little icons that you can put in these different sections. And um, you can even layer the little yummy and the photo. You can layer, those are meant um, to kind of fit in with the grid. If you wanted to layer those on top of, you could add those as well. But so what's nice is this gives you, if you wanted to cut this out and use it, um, and this is from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, this set. And you could cut these out. You could do one for every, if you wanted to make a continuous mini album, you could stamp this, cut out uh, the square, and then add that with a photo on every single page. And you have a very cohesive look to your simple dory or a mini album if you make it. Um, but these would be great in our simple dory or our traveler's notebook and use that as a little way to add journaling, a title. Um, you could put the data down here in the title up here or even along the side. So there's a lot of fun ways that you could use that. And I love that idea, again, for creating a great, cohesive, easy way. So you don't feel like you have to every single layout, change it up and make it different. You could continue to just use that on every one. You could get a whole month's worth of stuff done really, really quickly. And there's a couple little layering. There's a little layering um, heart. There's a little layering star in there. There's this cute little camera and this little ampersand as well. I've got a couple more examples. I'll show you those. I ran out of room. I had to start another page. But I wanted to mention the little airplanes. I think these are so, so fun. Um, to add around a photo, you could use them and create an entire background. And when you stamp them, then all you do to create these little tail marks is just use a fine point marker and just make a dashed line. So there's you can create this great movement on your page. Um, if, especially from a design standpoint, if you have a photograph and you want to highlight or draw the eye to a certain part of the photograph, you could stamp that little airplane and have it kind of pointing toward where you want the eye to go. So there's just a lot of fun ways that you could use those. I definitely think like a whole page filled with them uh, with the title in the middle would be a fun way to, um, to make a page in your Simple Dory as well. Let me move on to another page. And so here you can see where I layered these with the other stamp set. So I used these two together a little bit here. So I have the this moment captured and then I added the numbers. So again, you could add your journaling in there. I added the dated and then I used one of the sayings in the middle and then added one of the planes with that, the little paper airplanes. And then we are gonna move on to this stamp set from the planner add-on. So these little guys are so stinking cute. You have this little guy that says, nope, not today. Our happy little snail, our, our little snail and the little bird. <laughs> and then this little guy here where he's saying, Monday, I'd like to talk to your manager. He's very upset that the weekend is over. And then this little guy carrying the coffee cup. So. I'm just gonna, before we go on to the washi tape, I'm gonna tell you a little of the things that I added from some of the other stamp sets. So the little uh, layered heart is from this one. So I layered the little heart in the mug. The sayings are from this one here, and you can see where I added those. 
the that's enough today and for today I thought was kind of appropriate for these little guys here. And then this guy little looks like he's kind of going kind of fast for snail. So I added the little chevron arrow <laughs> behind him. I thought that was cute. And then um, for the washi tape, so the washi tape, each one has three pieces. There's a solid piece, there's an outline, and then there's a pattern. And obviously you can use them all separately or you can layer them all together or you can layer a couple of them. So like this one, you can see where I have just the dots and just the solid, or I have all three of them. It's kind of hard to see. My, um, my ink wasn't really dark enough. So there's a solid, there is a dot on top of there, and then an outline, or just the solid with the dots, or just the outline with the solid. And then the same thing with the smaller one, you have the same idea where you can do just the solid with um, a different colored pattern on top, or just the outline. Um, and so you can see that. And of course, you could do all three again as well. So it's a fun way to add a little bit of washi tape um, just in a stamped form in whatever colors you want to do. So then we're going to move on to these little guys. So this, there are so many little birds in here and little snails. So there's so many different ways you could combine these. And like I said, I kind of, I ended up just, Think, I'm just going to stamp and talk about them. So that's what we're going to do. So I stamped them all so you could see them clearly. Uh, one of the fun things, there is a little bird cage on here. So you could stamp one of the little birds in the bird cage. And then a couple of the little extra things on here. There's a pair of glasses. There's a couple of little quote bubbles. And then there's a little dashed trail. So you can see where some of the little birds, like um, this little guy here, does not have glasses and neither does this snail, but you could put the little glasses over top of them. Isn't that adorable? I think it completely changes their look. So that's using those little glasses right there. So any of the birds that are kind of looking at you more straight on, you could do it to this little guy, possibly this little guy. Um, you can add those little glasses. It's super, super cute. And then the little quote bubbles, you can see where I added that to a couple of them. And then inside I added the little ampersand or the little heart. Um, they're just kind of fun. There's also that little star that you could add. And then this shows that little bit of dashed line to show movement. Any of the little flying birds, you could add that to. And as for the flying birds, what's fun is you could make a complete flock of birds. So. You have all of these little guys that are flying and you could make them fly across a page. Um, you could fill an entire page with them or you could just do one single little bird flying too. You have this little guy here who is a larger version of this one that says the nope, not today. So he's real fun to stack next to something. If you have um, one of the florals, if you have another saying or a title, he's real cute to stack next to that because of the way that he's kind of sitting down. And then of course you have all of the cute little snails. Um, so there's just so many. This little guy looks like he's shouting something. He would be a fun one to do next to journaling or a bold title. That would be a fun thing to do with him. This little guy just looks like he's kind of more curious. <laughs> and then any of the snails, if you have any sort of titles, <laughs> Uh, that say, you know, like, you know, taking it easy or relaxing or anything like that. Of course, snails are fun for that. So those are all of the little birds and the snails. So that is that stamp set. This little guy already comes with glasses, so he already has those. And then we're going to move on to the florals. So I started stamping this set. And this has a lot of the, um, the flower blossoms. And so I just kind of stamped those out. And there's so many different things that you, obviously you could make a ton of bouquets. You could just stamp a bunch of them and make bouquets. One of the things I wanted to mention is these are just the heads of the flowers. You can stamp those and using a pen, super easy, just give them, um, give them a stem. So you just draw the stem with those. And the nice thing about that is then you can curve the stem, you can add the stem however you want. And then there's a leaf in here 
And then there's also a couple of leaves in here that you can then stamp onto um, your little stems. So you can customize how long you want that stem. If you really want to exaggerate that and make it super long, if you want a bunch of them that are together, you can do that as well. With this one, I stamped this stamp set or this little um, this little sprig here, and then I added one of the buds to the top. And then I added, you have the little floating, the little floating dandelion pieces. So you can stamp those next to it. I love this one in particular. I think if you had just this on a page with a few of these floating and a title next to it, and that's it, I think would look so classy and elegant. I love that look of just that one. I also love these ginkgo leaves that if you did a whole page of just the ginkgos falling down with a title would be so, so pretty. So you have those as well. And then you have a bunch of just the floating little dandelion pieces here. And then, uh, let's see, what else do we have? There's, like I said, there's just so many. You have the pretty little leaf sprigs. And again, depending on how you wanna layer these, you could make a beautiful bouquet um, you have this one here, which actually in the stem, it says wonderful. And then I wanted to just, let's see if I talked about every one of these. This one is a beautiful, delicate little piece as well. So I think any of these, the way that they're so delicate and yet so graphic at the same time, lend themselves to being on a single page by themselves with a lot of white space. I just think that that look is so pretty. Okay, I think I have all of these that I mentioned, the other little leaf there, and this pretty little pod sprig is nice too. Okay, and then we go on to, these are more of just the vines and the leaves and the sprigs. Um, there's a one little um, dandelion there that's closed, or actually all of them are gone. And then this beautiful leaf right here, which is really nice and bold. And that one, I, I tried just kind of creating a pattern. I turned it around and stamped it twice. I did the same thing with this one here. I turned it over and stamped it twice. And a lot of these, so like for instance, uh, this one, this one, this one, uh, or no, that's the same one. This one and this one, you could use and even this one, if you extended the line a little bit, you could use those with some of these um, floral blossoms to create the stems if you were uncomfortable drawing them yourselves. Uh, the same thing with this long one here, which I have on another sheet. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I just stamped, I thought this was so pretty, this petite little um, flower, if you did a whole bunch of them together is pretty. These little guys here, these three, so you can see here they are on their own and here they are. All I did was draw a real simple little stem and a leaf on those. Here you can see where I drew the stem and I added this leaf. Uh, no, wait, which one? This one right here. I added that little um, leaf to it. One of the things I did here too that I thought was fun is I stamped that leaf together and it almost looks like a little um, butterfly or a little, um, not necessarily a gnat, but kind of a little teeny butterfly. I thought that was really cute too. So if you stamp those leaves together, you get that little effect. Uh, you have these beautiful little sprigs here as well. And then of course I stamped the um, that other long one with the wonderful. I kind of put those together. So what I wanted to show you before I move on to the next page, this is a super fun technique and it actually goes along with the artwork. So you can stamp these in black, pull out your chalk, and I use just, I get a bunch of just these, um, and you can get them in the craft store, these little makeup applicators. They're little eyeshadow applicators basically. And if you just pick a color, so let's actually do a real bright red. Put a little bit of that on. And then in the middle of these flowers, you can add a little bit of color. Isn't that pretty? So you can go in and you can actually color
color these and get that same effect that you see in the rest of our artwork. If you wanted to be real precise, you could um, try and be real precise and just color in the whole thing and give it some shading and play around with it that way as well. But I love this just kind of doing the center of them. I think that's so fun. It just gives it that little burst of color and you can customize the color however you want. So you can see where I did that with these as well. So super, super easy to do. And again, a, a lot of us have these and you can, and uh, or if you don't have one, they're really quite inexpensive at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or um, I believe Joann's. I'm sure they all the craft places have them. Um, you can just get a nice inexpensive set and you can do that. And you'll get a little addicted to doing it because it's a lot of fun because it's so easy to do. And so that's a fun way to add color to these without um, using more ink. So you can get that bold graphic look of the black and white and then add in that little bit of color. And actually, I wanna mention, you could do the same exact technique with the birds and with the snails. So like for instance, if I wanted to give one of these little birds a little pink tummy, I could do that by putting a little bit of pink on here and just giving him a little pink tummy. And then you could go in and color the rest of them if you wanted to as well, or you could leave just a little pink tummy. You could color in the snails. You could do a lot of coloring on them with the chalk as well. Sometimes a Q-tip, if you have a, a Q-tips that are a little better quality and they're not too fuzzy, you can use Q-tips um, as well if you don't have the little makeup applicators. And of course you could do that with the paper airplanes too. So here is a set where I kind of took, uh, where I mentioned that at the beginning, like there are so many different ways that you could layer all of these florals with all of the birds and the snails and, and just, there's just so much that you could do. So I wanted to just show you a couple of those ideas though. So for this one, I took the, that great grid set and then I stamped the, that beautiful leaf in blue. And then I added the dated and the of note over top of it. So you get that beautiful layering of all of that. And again, you could use that grid with any of the florals. I think any of them would be beautiful with it. You could have one of the birds sitting here on next to it. Um, you could have a little birdie on top. So there's a lot of ways that you could use the little birds on there as well. This long one, what I did is I stamped it, I turned it, and I stamped it again. So you could make this long vine. I stamped it here and then I added one of the buds. I added this bud right here on top of it. And then at the bottom there, I added the little snail so you can see him. And again, this is one of those things you could add any one of the birds around here. You could add the little flock of birds above. You could add a little standing bird. You could add our little nope, not today bird <laughs> sitting there. How cute would that be? Um, you could have one here with a little quote bubble. So, so many different things that you could do. Again, any one of the birds or snails with just about any one of the florals is going to work simply because of the way the artwork is designed and the way that the outlines, it's just, it all coordinates. This one, I stamped a couple more from this set just to kind of give you an idea what they look like. And then I had this little bird flying above it. You put a little title under that and how cute would that be on a page? I stamped this real pretty sprig with the A Day in the Life from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And I just thought that was pretty as well. So again, there's just, there's countless. I mean, I could be here for hours and hours and hours showing you all of the combinations, but I think this gives you an idea of how to layer them and then just start playing yourself. We are actually heading to Florida on Sunday um, for a little vacation that was delayed for my son um, when he graduated back in 2020. We were supposed to go there for spring break for him. Um, and that didn't happen because of COVID. So we were able to um, postpone it and we're taking that trip. And I actually think normally I take 
um, some craft supplies with me and work on a little booklet or something. I literally think um, because I had so much fun, I'm just gonna take these stamps with me and just sit and stamp. I think it, that's very relaxing to me. It just kind of come up with a bunch of um, examples. So I think I'm just gonna take some, some black stamping ink and just make up a bunch of these. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be my little crafty thing that I'm gonna take with me. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to all of the stamps that we have. Like I said, there are so many um, for this um, collection, Confetti Wishes. And part of the reason we named it that is uh, because of the new year, um, New Year's Eve, you always think of throwing confetti, but the little dandelion seeds make me think of confetti as well. And when you have a dandelion and you blow those seeds, you make a wish. So that's kind of where the name came from as well. So I can't wait for you to get these. I can't wait for you to play with them. You're going to have so much fun and we'll talk to you soon.